Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we've got another viewer request. Um, this has actually cropped up quite a few times and I'm quite surprised. Um, well, I just haven't got around to it sooner. Um, other things are sort of taking priority, but today we're gonna to be taking a look at another Bimmer code video. We're gonna be taking a look at how to enable the US side markers, um, if you will. Um, I think it's US side markers. I don't know if it's a European spec sort of thing as well. I'm not entirely sure. But basically, you can enable your front indicators. Um, I'm not sure how it works on the LCI, but on the pre-LCI, where it's sort of like a half or a quarter thing at the bottom. I know you can enable them so they're on permanently. Um, and when you put your indicators on, they go off, uh, but then you can, um, the correct side will only flash. It's an ambulance coming now. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to be taking a look at how to enable this. I'm going to quickly get out the car. I'm going to show you how it looks um, at the moment, uh, what to expect. I've got a little cheat sheet here um, because I'm not going to lie. Uh, whilst I know how to do this, I can't exactly remember all the numbers and the locations where to go through. So I, I will be referring to a cheat sheet. Uh, so I do apologise. So I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to get out and I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, normally, um, just with the normal daytime running lights on. Okay. So this is a car, just a stock. You've got your daytime running lights on. Let me just bring that brightness down a little bit. There we go. So we're enabling the indicators at the bottom to be on permanently. So we're gonna get back in the car, we're gonna load up Bimmer code and yeah. Okay, so first things first, uh, we're gonna turn off the engine. You'll turn off the engine, turn it off, and then turn on the ignition. Um, I'm getting a, a, a warning here. So for, for the future, in the videos at the moment, if you guys hear a warning when I start the car up, it's purely a service. So I've got my service light on at the moment. I've got it booked in at night BMW in Stafford. So we're gonna go there. Um, yeah, we're gonna go there at some point. Okay, so you're gonna wanna press connect on Bimmer code. Okay, so uh, yeah, you're gonna want to go into the uh, body domain controller. I think that's a mini version of the BMW's front electronics module. Um, <clears throat> I don't have it anyway, but the front electronics module gives you access to the lights in the BMW, whereas in the mini, the body domain controller gives you access to the lights. Uh, it's loaded up here. We're gonna press expert mode. Before we do, again, you're just gonna wanna make sure you've got a backup ready. So we had one just done, yeah. So that's fine. Uh, is it? Uh, yeah, 1849, that's fine. It's gonna get to expert mode, continue. So this is where we first need the front, uh, the body. Uh, uh, we need the 3063 mapping. Um, so 3063 lamp mapping. So we're gonna go into here. So first of all, we're gonna to want to change uh, mapping underscore side marker underscore L underscore output. And we're gonna change that from off to FR A underscore V underscore L. Go back. We're gonna scroll down to the light, to the right. So we're gonna to go to mapping underscore side marker underscore R underscore output. Again, we're gonna change that to FR A underscore V underscore R. We're gonna go back. Next section we need to go to is the Go back to the left. Uh, then you're going to want to go to uh, the mapping underscore side marker underscore L underscore PWM underscore one underscore standard. Set that to 9.0. It's just nine volts. Going to go back and we're going to do exactly the same to the right. So mapping underscore side marker underscore R underscore PWM underscore one underscore standard. Going to go into there and set that from change that from off to um nine volts okay so once we've done that now we're going to press code we're going to press start coding so hopefully <clears throat> from my understanding this will then enable the side lights so it's going for its coding process at the moment it's writing coding data 50 percent finishing coding you'll get a warning on here again like i say in all my videos it doesn't mean anything just ignore it bimmer code will clean the codes um or any faults or anything like that so don't worry about that so it's gonna wait for it to restart the ecu or finish doing that anyway clearing errors so it says the coding as uh, a controlling has been successful we're gonna press okay 
So this is where now um, I'm going to just turn the car off, open the door, shut the door, give the star, give the car a start, and I'm going to quickly flip the camera around. And you're going to get my first impressions. I, I don't know whether this has gone on or not. So I'm going to flip the camera around. I'll be back with you shortly. So. Oh. Near the exhaust. That's nice. So nothing's different on the back, which is what we'd expect. Ah, nothing. Aha. Here we go. So you actually have to turn it on so the side lights on. Yeah, so you actually have to turn it on so the side lights set to on um, and not daytime running lights. But there we go. Look at that, they're permanently on now. So that's that sort of USA sort of side marker look. I'm going to leave that coded in. Um, I really like that actually. With the way this is turned on at the moment, you don't get access to the automatic headlights. Uh, you do need to turn that back from manual to, to auto. So, and when you flip it back to auto, these don't come on. Um, I'm just gonna see how it looks with the indicator on. So I'm putting my left indica indicator on. Oh. So at the back, that comes on like normal. Need to get those indicators sorted out at the side. Okay, and that's what it looks like if you've got your indicators on. And I can only assume if you've got your hazards on, they'll the both of them will blink. So yeah, how cool is that? Right then guys, so that's it. So simple to do. Um, I'm gonna pop the cheat sheet in the description below. So if you guys want to refer to it, copy and paste it into your own notes, print it off, you know, fair enough fair play so if you like the video click like if you want to see more videos in the future hit subscribe followed by the notification bell where you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video anyway guys thank you for watching i shall see you all in the next video